Last season was temporary. This season is permanent. Lewis Mayo completes his transfer to Kilmarnock. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Football. We've got some Kilmarnock news today. Yes, Derek McKins has been busy in the transfer market. Has he strengthened his side? Has he brought in a new face, a fresh face? Not really. But what he has done is he has managed to secure the services of a player that he had last year at the club. Lewis Mayo joined Kilmarnock last year on loan from Rangers. Played 42 games. Was an important part of the Kilmarnock side last season. That managed to stay up in the Premiership. Obviously Derek McKinn seen that. He thought, you know what? He was an important part. I want him to continue to be an important part. And I want him to be at the future of this club, therefore Derek McKins obviously sat down with Rangers and they've got this deal going and it is a three year deal, so Lewis Mayo has joined Kilmarnock from Rangers on a three year contract for an undisclosed fee, now I hate Scottish football with these undisclosed fees, we never really find out, I mean this could be anything well, well when I say anything, I don't mean anything literally because Kilmarnock ain't going to spend that much money because they don't have that much money, but I mean this could be probably what, a couple hundred thousand perhaps is that right around that ballpark? I'm not too sure. Maybe 200, 250, 300, maybe somewhere around that. Because I think Lewis Mayo is a decent player now. Would he ever be good enough for Rangers? Probably not. Probably not. Did he ever get a chance though, to be good enough for Rangers? Definitely not. I mean, he never really featured. I mean, how many times did he play for Rangers? I don't even know if he made maybe like one or two games. I think he might have featured in like a couple of League Cup matches, but other than that, I don't recall him getting a chance. He has had a chance though at under 21 level for Scotland. He's, he did okay for them as well. So I think the guy has actually had an okay football career up to this point. I think he is promising. I just don't think he's cut out for the top level, which there's no shame in that. Not everybody is, and you know he, he could have probably stayed at Rangers, he could have just stayed at the squad and got a couple more loan moves out and maybe eventually get released, or he could go, you know what, last season at Kilmarnock, I had a bit of success, you know, I fit it in well, I contributed to the team, I helped them stay up, I want to move to Kilmarnock, that could be a good move for me, and it turns out that's what's happened, so I think it will be a good move for Lewis Mayo, he does sign a three-year contract, so it's a good deal for Kilmarnock, depending on how much money Rangers gets a good deal for them, but if we're being realistic, the guy was never going to cut it at Rangers anyway, I don't think so, even though Rangers do have defensive issues at the back and they're not really the strongest in that area, I don't think Lewis Mayo was the realistic uh, aim, I don't think he was going to be the problem solver in that position, so... He's joined for Kilmarnock. I think this is a big season coming up for Kilmarnock. Kind of underperformed a little bit last year, in my opinion at least. Maybe I had too high expectations. I thought they would be on the verge and possibly even attain a top six position. It did not happen though. They fell short of that. In fact, they fell very short. And for quite a long period of time, it did look like they were going to be embroiled in a relegation battle. If not, directly going down at least the relegation spot but after the last couple of games they managed to pull themselves clear and they managed to get their survival in the top flight of Scottish football so I think this season Derek McKins will be looking to push on I don't know if he's going to be the Kilmarnock manager for a long time I, I could see Derek McKins I think he's maybe I don't want to say above Kilmarnock because he didn't do that great last season but I, I do think Derek McKins is a half decent manager and I think he will want Kilmarnock to improve if he wants to stay there. I don't think Derek McKenzie is going to be content staying at Kilmarnock just for them to be a team that finishes you know, safely in the bottom half of the table. I don't think he wants that. I think he wants to get back to what he had at Aberdeen. I think he wants to be back towards the top end of the Scottish Premiership. Can he do it with Kilmarnock? What we'll do we wait and see? Steve Clark done it with Kilmarnock. Steve Clark got more points than Celtic over a 365 day calendar year. So that just tells you how good Steve Clark was and the job he'd done at Kilmarnock. He was fucking awesome. I would have to say Steve Clark is the greatest Kilmarnock manager of, of all time. I mean, no one comes close. Let's be honest. What he done, I mean, the only thing he could have done better was win a cup. Yeah, I, I totally get that. He could have won a trophy. But in terms of his performances in the league, I think people forget how good this guy was. He came in when Kilmarnock were dead last. 8 points from safety and he, he got them up into 5th place in that first season and from he came in, from the day he came in, 365 days later, he had, he'd scored more points than anybody in the league so that just goes to, even including the unbeaten Celtics, so that just shows you how many wins Kilmarnock were getting under Steve Clark and then in his second full season he finished third, he got them into Europe. 
You can't ask for much more than that. Kilmarnock finishing third. Who would have thought it? Well, Steve Clark thought it. Anyway, I was kind of thinking that Derek McKins could try and get back to that level. If Steve Clark can get Kilmarnock third, does that mean that Derek McKins can do it? I sort of feel like he should be aiming a bit higher than finishing 10th. We'll see this season. I'm probably going to predict Kilmarnock to finish higher than 10th, but I don't think I'll be predicting them top 6 unless they make more signings, bigger signings than this, because I do think they need it. I think they need to improve. I think they need a couple, of three or four decent signings if I am going to predo uh, predict them to be top 6. But we'll have to wait and see, guys. Lewis Mayo, I think, is a decent signing. He'll come in. He'll offer them stability at the back. It's another number for Kilmarnock. You know, they're getting a good player. Rangers are letting someone go who probably isn't good enough for them. So win-win at the end of the day, guys. So there you go. Lewis Mayo joins Kilmarnock on a three-year contract from Rangers. Catch you in the next one. Till then, peace.